going to go ahead and remove the battery box. Uh, the reason being that I need to get to the starter. Um, <clears throat> the starter is actually being held to the inner primary and the starter has to come out. Now I've loosened the inner primary. Uh, the five bolts on the inner primary are loose, uh, which has actually given me a little play with the primary uh, itself which is good because the nuts for the the allen uh, the allen nuts uh, float around a little bit which allows me to get to them easier this is a 40 size 40 torque which takes out the two top bolts for the battery box and this one here <clears throat> And this is going to make it a lot easier simply to get to the starter itself, the star starter lugs to uh, get those removed. And as it is not a big deal to, seemingly not a big deal to remove it, I'm going to go ahead and get this out, out of the way. Like so, one of those and one of these. Voila. Alright, as far as the starter goes, the starter has two bolts. Actually, I have, I have uh, a socket already in one of them here. And as you can see, it moves primarily because the primary itself is loose. So it really affords me a little leverage there, which I needed with this. Two bolts hold the starter, one here and one here. Let me see if I have that. Uh, All right, get a better look at that. There's one bolt here. And there's one bolt here. The starter itself doesn't have to be removed from the chassis per se. It just needs to be loosened from the primary. Also, you see this hole here. That is the transmission vent line. And I went ahead and took that out simply to access this bolt a little bit more readily. And it's working out just fine. So it did add, I don't think it added five minutes to the job. But I'm going to go ahead and get that broken free. All right, uh, again, the battery box is out. That was a uh, three-minute job, maybe. And the starter bolts have been removed from the starter on the, on the uh, right side of the, of the bike. That is, again, uh, crucial to getting the inner primary off. If you don't get those bolts out, that inner primary is not coming off. So those are out. Where those are, real quick. This is one bolt hole. That's in the uh, bolts. I'll show you the bolts. And here's another. With the battery box out of the way, and also with um, with this uh, vent out of the way, made it easy. As well as the primary itself, and you can see it from that side. You can see the primary itself is loose, which allowed just that little bit amount. Made a really pretty big difference. And here are the. The bolts are quarter inch hex, quarter inch hex, and uh, believe me when I tell you, get the get the long get the long hex, not these short ones. Get the long ones to handle this, the stretch. Uh, believe it. So. The two bolts from the starter back here are disconnected from the inner primary case. Inner primary is disconnected. One, two, three, four, five bolts are out. I've got the bike back up on a jack. This uh, compensator area clears correctly. And if I'm right, this should kind of walk off. Dead blow hammer, orange hammer. 
All right, um, we're pulling the inner race, the inner primary bearing race off the main shaft. And in doing so, I've taped up the main shaft as I had before when I pulled the inner primary off to protect the threads. Um, I had a two-armed two, uh, two craftsman pulley. Um, I had this in stock, and as the inner bear, as the inner race had not walked forward, there was actually a little room in between the inner race and this nut. It wasn't enough actually to get the uh, to get the the teeth of this behind. But what I did was, using a drill and a a grinding wheel, I ground down the back side of the actual. Um, arm itself, I ground down the back side as to maintain the sharp, nice front edge of the uh, to teeth. This is just the backing plate for the, um, the drive screw itself, and it's working fine. It, it, this was just a, a piece of tin I had. It's a, it's a hurricane tie I had laying it around from a job I had done. And so I used that, and uh, it seems to actually be... seems to be working just fine. So that, there we go. All right. Here is I've already started cracking these, um, the, the holding plate for the main nut. I've cracked this free. this plate out of the way and we will go ahead and see if that will just lift right out there we go that comes right out I have again taped up this uh, this section here we'll go ahead and uh, start putting this in a bag Now, a couple of things about it. I do happen to have the the uh, socket for this. This is a two and a quarter inch socket that fits on here, and we'll uh, we'll take this off. This was generously lent to be uh, to me by my friends at uh, Ocean State Harley Davidson. Barbara and uh, Russ are the uh, owners. As long as, as well as their daughter in, in Warwick, but uh, I'm working out of the Exeter store. Uh, Barbara was very gracious to me, along with Keith, in the parts department, and Anthony in service as well, who spent some some time with me talking about what I can expect and what to uh, how to approach this. He said one thing. Um, he says he's done many times taken this nut off with nothing more than a half inch breaker bar, a three quarter inch adapter, and some leverage, so I have a, uh, I have an extra section of pipe that I'm going to put on the, the bar itself and kind of go for it, and we'll, we'll back off a little bit so you can see more of that. But at the same point in time, he also said, don't be afraid, go ahead and put a little heat to the, this little heat, now, you have rubber gaskets here. Uh, so he said, if you're going to put heat to it, put the heat along the outside edge, quickly, and... 
that will help soften up a little bit of the Loctite material holding this this nut on. Then he said, just go for it, give it some pressure, and get in there. So that's you know that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to go with the uh, notion that the chances are it's actually going to break away from this. I've read, and obviously uh, if you're into this yourself, hopefully you've done some of your own homework, you've read that this can be quite a nut to get off a bike. Now, what I have done is I've, I've put the gear shift lever in third gear, and I've also uh, leveraged down the brake pedal. So this is, uh, is really tight. It's really tight, and it's being held by... I've tensioned this back up when I took this apart and I took the primary off. I loosened this, but I've tensioned this up actually a little bit more tight than than the average bear. So it's on tight. The belt itself is in good shape, by the way. I'll be reusing that, it looks like. Now, first thing I'm going to do, he said, uh, go ahead and throw a little heat on it. I'm going to do just that. I'm just going to put a little heat on it around the outside edge, he said, of the nut. Just heat the outside edge near the near the uh, the pulley itself. Don't get too close to the inside. Heat the pulley. This, this outside edge, right in the right in the right in the seam of the outside edge. There are rubber there are rubber seals inside and if you can avoid it uh, ruining them that's advantageous. I'm not going to put a lot of heat to it. Just going to kind of warm it up. I think I'll call it with that. Don't want to do any damage in there. Now it'll stay warm for just a minute. All right, here we are. I am prepared to remove the main gear uh, transmission nut. I have the tool. Uh, this is a half inch breaker bar, Craftsman half inch to three quarter inch adapter to the tool itself. I've taped off this. I um, should actually have a slide over it, really. That would be most prudent, yet I don't. Um, I'm just going to put a little pressure on it and see what happens. Speaking with a technician at uh, the dealership, he says he's removed these several times without so much as just a bit of work on the nut. I've heated it a little bit, as we saw in a previous video. I have the breaker bar and an extension. I'm back, uh, say, about uh, three feet, about three feet back. I'm just going to go ahead and put some pressure on it and see what happens. Maybe we'll get it to crack. broken free heat and about <clears throat> heat and uh, some feet of some feet of uh, breaker bar and how it comes off. It doesn't come off smoothly. It comes off it comes off crunchy. I took a piece of uh, what is this? This is one inch schedule 40. I just had it. I put it over the shaft. I cut it to about four inches. Uh, no, I'm sorry. About four inches. This is a six inch ruler. I cut it to about six and an eighth inches long using this tool anyway. 
Now let's see. Was, uh, it was some work getting it off, that's for sure. Getting it loose anyway. I'm going to do a couple of things now. One, I'm going to loosen the, the rear. The rear bolt of the rear wheel. I'm also going to loosen the tension on the belt itself, just a little bit, not too much. I don't want, I don't want too much tension on that bearing, and it's it's broken now, so. any longer let's see socket is going to be hot still I applied uh, I impl uh, applied more heat to that socket I'm sorry that nut I applied more heat to that uh, it is covered in red Loctite we'll get a close-up of that in just a moment and um, so this should be, and it is, somewhat loose. This pulley is now reasonably loose and uh, warm. It's warm. I wouldn't say it's any more hot than, say, even an operating temperature after it's warmed up. Uh, but it did come loose. It came free uh, with a, a torch. I applied heat. I applied heat um, to the... I was applying heat to the outside edge, guys. I was applying heat to the outside edge, where it met the, where it met the pulley inside that V. Uh, after an attempt or two at not coming off, I applied heat directly to the nut, trying to stay away as best I could. So the outside edge, face edge of the nut itself, outside face edge of the nut itself, and I really kind of went at it a little bit, a minute, at least a minute, I'd say, of of direct heat all going around and around and around and um, so I stayed hopefully stayed away from some of the seals in here we'll, we're as it comes apart chances are all of this is getting replaced for the most part uh, we'll see what's now behind it matter of fact why don't we just go for that yeah. loosen the belt Uh, what's interesting is I actually don't see any oil hmm I do not see any oil on the inside of the main sprocket can you see this okay good we have a little light here uh, this is the inside main sprocket, and my 
under uh, my expectation was that this would be wet because my my uh, my further expectation would be that this seal would be gone and it is not what actually seems to be gone is the inside seal here of the um, the the seal in between the clutch drive uh, this is the uh, what is this rod called uh, this is this is what the clutch basket sits on uh, it's called the main shaft yes this is the main shaft this is the main sixth speed gear this is the main I believe it's called sixth speed gear this is the main shaft main sixth speed gear there is a washer in between these two I'm, I'm sorry a, a seal there is a seal in between these two I expected again to expected to see oil on the backside, thinking it was this seal. This seal and the bearing inside would be bad. It is not. Uh, it is dry. I'm grateful for that. At the same point in time, it looks like the seal in between the shaft and the main drive itself is gone.